Okay, so first ones, let's see what we have here. What is in this? Ooh, oh my God, these things are so gorgeous. Ooh, these, oh, wow. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. You know, it's been a minute since I've done an unboxing video, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I'll be honest with you, this is another one of those things that Lori kind of did the deal, so I don't even know what's in this box, but we are gonna definitely take a look and see what's in here together. And I can't tell you, I'm excited to be back at BHB, and it's always cool to do an unboxing because it's neat to get new animals. And again, when you don't even know what's in the shipment, it makes it even that much cooler. So let's just go ahead and just tear into this. And by the way, I hope this starts your day is absolutely incredible go ahead and comment down below and let me know how your day is and what is going on here let's see what we have here oh okay we have some pretty organized bags here i mean take a look at this it's got a little tag on it i think that a lot of these are actually boas and i know you guys are always kind of opining for boas like brian you should do more boas well guess what Lori ended up ordering some boas i just don't know what she ordered they're packed in a way that's very organized so at least i can see what's in it but gosh they are difficult to get into okay so first ones Let's see what we have here. What is in this? Ooh. Oh my God, these things are so gorgeous. Holy moly, that thing is beautiful. And of course, this is a little Central American T-positive albino boa. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous. Take a look at that little monkey. And of course, the Central American boas are a little bit smaller than the Colombian boas. They just stay smaller as adults and they're born a little smaller, but the T-positives are so pretty. What a gorgeous little snake. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know if these are all gonna be Central Americans, there's going to be Colombians. I have no idea, so it'll be interesting to see. And I don't even know how many there are, so let's just keep on opening stuff up. And here we go. Let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Oh, yep, we still have some Central Americans, but these are really cool here. These are actually Motley's, and I guess they're actually Motley's 100% for T-positive albino Central American boas. Take a look at how cool these things are. I mean, these things are absolutely adorable. And of course, the Motley's are actually the pattern on them, and it's a co-dominant mutation. So if you breed two Motley's together, you get a patternless boa, almost like an all black boa constrictor. But look at how cute these two little guys are. They're absolutely amazing. And I can't get over how small Central American boas are compared to common boas or the Colombian boas because they are so skinny, but they're so cool. These guys are so adorable. Moving on to the next bag. Let's see what's in here. What do you got, little guys? What are we have here? I love unboxing stuff. Ooh, these, oh, wow. These are absolutely gorgeous. And of course, these are T-positive albino motley Central American boas. So you can see we saw some T-positive albinos and then we saw some motleys. These are the combination of both of them. Holy moly, these things are gorgeous. And the thing that's cool about these is that as they get bigger, they get prettier and prettier. These monkeys are absolutely gonna be stunners when they get some size to them. And what do we have in this next bag? Ooh, wow, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, oh my God, you guys are gonna absolutely love these. Take a look at those right there. Holy cow! Now there's actually two different type of animals here. This one right here is actually a hypo motley. And you can see just how awesome that is. The hypo gene and the motley gene together, holy cow, that thing is crazy cool looking. So I'm not gonna lie guys, uh, as I was showing you guys the hypo motley boa, this little monkey here escaped, and I just spent the last five minutes trying to find it. I actually got into the shoebox rack, and it was behind a shoebox. So anyways, let me go ahead and show you this guy now. This little escape monkey here actually is a Sun Glow T-positive Central American boa. And basically what that means is it's a hypo, it's a T-positive albino, and it's a motley boa. What an absolutely amazing triple gene here. And this guy's gonna go in a cage because he's a little escape artist, but that thing is absolutely gorgeous and then last bag here guys I don't think that this is a boa because it's too heavy and let's see what there's in here ah, what do you got in here 
Oh, these are really pretty. Oh, I know exactly what these are. Holy cow, that is awesome. These guys are actually Candino pinstripes. Look at how cool they are. So basically what it is, it's a candy, it's an albino, and it's a pinstripe. Now the candy and the albino are of course allelic. So you have a candy and then you have an albino and it makes candinos when you breed them together. And then of course the pinstripe is like incomplete dominant. So together they're really amazing. And as these get bigger, more and more of the purple should come out. So all of this patterning here, you can start to see a little bit of purple on it. This should get more and more purple with age. So these guys should be really cool. So basically guys, that is the shipment. A few ball pythons, a bunch of cool boas. So that's really neat. And I know that we have a couple people that are going to be sending us a bunch of baby boas this year. So I'm super excited about that. And it's great to see Lori ordering these guys. So how awesome. So for those of you guys that have been saying, all right, I want to see more boas. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then a few ball pythons for you ball python lovers out there like me. So how awesome is that? I am so glad I got to unbox something. It's been far too long. Now that we have the unboxing done, let's go ahead and get a few clutches of eggs that were laid today. Uh, look at this girl here. She's already out of her nest box. Of course, this is a Terra Humera Mountain King Snake or a Noblock Eye. It's a type of Pyro Milana, much like the Arizona Mountain King Snakes, but have really heavy triads and lots of really cool patterns. Let's see what she laid. Oh, that's a nice clutch of eggs. These aren't like a high production animal, so there's not a lot of eggs, but she's been a really good girl. As a matter of fact, a lot of times the Pyro Milana will only have one clutch. The last couple years, this girl has been doing two clutches a year, which is really unusual for that species. So let's hope that she'll do another couple clutches. Looks like she has four eggs here. Four eggs aren't bad. Typically she's laying anywhere from four to five eggs. So I'm completely happy with this. Eggs looks absolutely perfect. So uh, that's a good way to start. Couple more clutches to pull. This one happens to be a head black motley scaleless corn snake. Oh, that's pretty good clutch. I've told you before that the fertility can be a little bit questionable with these guys, but this clutch looks really good. Good job, mom. It's okay. I'm just going to really gently take you out of here. It's okay, mom. Let those eggs go. Let them go, sweetie. Okay, we don't want to roll those eggs. We'll go ahead and just put her down really quick and we'll go back and get her all set up afterwards. In the meantime, I've got two, four, six, eight good eggs and one little slugger right here. I'll take that all day long. And the last clutch of the day is a head strawberry sun kiss corn snake bred to the same. So the strawberry is a recessive gene and so is the sun kiss. So these are actually double heads. Looks like she has a really beautiful clutch. Come on, girl. Let me go ahead and get you back in your cage, little girl. Good job, mom. You did such a good job. Looks like there's all fertile eggs in this clutch. Look at how beautiful it is. And there is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen good eggs. That is awesome. Thirteen good eggs and no slugs. All in all, our fertility has been really good, which tells me one thing. Eric has been doing a really good job. Of course, I've been kind of overseeing a little bit. Lori's been helping, but really Eric is really doing the majority of the work and he's doing absolutely phenomenal this year. So we'll go ahead and get these guys in this incubator box and we're set up and then I think that's it for eggs today. There's always so much going on, but every now and then I want I just take a minute. Hello, RJ. How you doing, buddy? Why are you being so cranky today? And he just loves hanging out in that corner. You know, the light is over here. We have a little spot for him here, but he loves to climb up on this. I have no idea why. And we've caught him once or twice climbing up, and it's pretty amazing that with three legs, he's able to do that so much. And of course, Bowser is over here. He's just waiting. Now that he's taking food off of tongs, this guy just hangs out here all the time, and he wants to eat. What do you say we just feed him real quick? <laughs> I just think it's absolutely amazing that he's doing so well when it comes to eating. There you go, Bowser. There you go, bud. You want it? There you go, sweetie. <laughs> How awesome is that? I'll get a GoPro out and you guys can see it from underwater sometime. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Noah is back from Hawaii. I'm going to go spend some time with the family. One of the reasons why I'm so lucky with having Lori in my life is today she decided to take the day off of work. And what did she do? She did all this landscaping here. She did all this landscaping here. She landscaped the entire pond area here. The pond did all this mulch, planted some things. Let's go find out what else she's doing. And here she is. She's painting the back room. What are you doing? So this is Lori's day off. I come home. She's got the entire room tore apart. She's painting. She's landscaped outside. Did you have a good day off? Yeah. <laughs> I can see you've got some help with Phoebe. Phoebe, yeah, you helping out, not... girl? No. Susie, you helping out? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's check in with Noah. And of course, Noah just back from Hawaii. He was there for two weeks. How lucky is that? How was Hawaii, Noah? Hawaii was great. I had a blast with my family and uh, I'll be moving there shortly. You are not moving to Hawaii. A lot of people said that they missed him, so now you know why he hasn't been in the vlog the last couple weeks. He was tooling around Hawaii. My nephew having probably more fun than I want to know.
Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm actually gonna shut the vlog down here. My buddy, Carrie King from the band Slayer is in town, so I'm gonna go meet up with him and just hang out with him tonight. They're actually playing tomorrow night, so we're gonna go to the concert as well, but uh, I am not gonna bring you guys along on this trip. I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure Carrie would probably prefer me not to have a camera. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you for joining me as always. I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you hit that like button? Comment down below. Turn those post notifications on. Always be kind to someone. And I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.